Slayer. What up, everybody? It's me, Obnoxious. Got some Halo Reach gameplay right here. Today's topic is about science fiction. That's supernatural, paranormal stuff. Do you believe in a lot of that type of stuff? I kind of do. Let's start it off with some of the characters. Yes, I characters. Aliens. We've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, maybe on the news, of UFO sightings. Back in the day, in the 1980s, up to now, we've seen weird stuff that's fallen out of the sky from different countries, or we just seen them on the ground. we never seen what this species is. If we was just to see a UFO in the sky coming down to our planet right now, what would we do? Will we grab a camera? Will we report it? Or will we be too shocked just to see it land and see what comes out of the UFO? The spacecraft. If an alien was to walk out of the UFO, would it greet us? Would you greet it back? Would you be scared? Would you not be scared? Do you think it would want to be our friend? Do you think it would want to share its technology with us? Who knows? Maybe it just wants to kill us and just take over our world. Pretty shocking, isn't it? What would you think if you was to see an alien? Leave a comment if you want. Mutants. Okay. Mutants. Think about it. If you were to see a mutant, what would you do? Would you be afraid? I know I would be afraid. I mean, maybe, who knows? It depends on what type of mutant it is. I mean, based off of X-Men, you see how cool the X-Men were and they were mutants. But imagine if it was one of them horrifying mutants that had tentacles and all of that and I just wanted to eat and kill you. What would you do? There's certain things that people have to believe. Do you believe in ghosts? I know a lot of people believe in ghosts. I mean, there's videos all over YouTube of stuff moving by itself. I believe in ghosts. I mean, you know, if you hear weird sounds in your house, you probably might believe it's ghosts. Or it could just be the wind. Who knows? That's supernatural stuff you gotta take a chance with. Believe it or not believe it. Androids. We see in the movie I, Robot. I'm just gonna leave it at that. If androids is to go against us, I don't know if it's gonna be a winning battle. Maybe we could use the EMP, but if androids take over the computers, think about that. If androids was to take over the computers, what would we do? Our whole life pretty much depends on technology by itself. If androids took over computers, I mean, yeah, we have guns and all of that, but like EMP blasts and all of that, we would be all screwed. Androids would kill us. Humanoid robots, same thing as androids. That, not that much different. They just got the human look of a human. You know, arm, legs, head, pretty much. Think about the technology of all this science fiction stuff. Ray guns. I mean, as far as we know, the military is already making futuristic shit already that we don't even know about. That's highly powerful and that could kill from distances. Teleportation. Imagine if you had a teleportation device. What would you use with that? Probably use that to go to China or something like that. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? Let's go to the scientific principles. Wormholes. Imagine you was on a space shuttle and you took a wormhole and went to a different dimension and you couldn't get back. What would you do from there? Would you kill yourself because you were shocked from where you was? A dimension that you're not comfortable of? I'd be pretty afraid if I couldn't even come back. A black hole. Well, you know if you're going through that, you're not coming back. You're just gone from the face of the earth. Maybe the galaxy. Nebula. Time travel. Wouldn't you mind going back? Just to see how everything started, the Big Bang Theory, the way how cells first divided, started to multiply, the created life, or do you believe in religion? It's your choice. You can leave a comment if you want on the video, or like the video, please, if you like my commentaries. Continuing on, fuck it. Paranormal abilities. Let's start off with the first one, mind control. What would you do if you had mind control? Would you make somebody... Walk around the street butt naked? I know what I'll do. I'll go to every store and make every person at the cash register open up the register and give me all their money. I'll make a guy give me his Lamborghini. Give me the keys. I'll mind control some guy just so he could drive the Lamborghini for me. And I'll sit in, I'll sit in the passenger seat. I don't need to drive. I can have people drive for me. Mind control, you can do a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. What about a telepathy? You guys don't know what a telepathy is. It's pretty much communicating. Pretty much with your head, your mind. You're not showing any type of physical 
communication or any signs of showing communication by doing anything physical. You're pretty much doing everything by the mind. Imagine if you could do that. Cheating would be so fucking easy. We don't have to write 1A, B, 2, C, all of that on a piece of paper and then pass it to a friend. We could probably learn information that people are keeping from us. Who knows? Telekinesis. Imagine if we were just psychic. We can move stuff with our hands. We can move stuff. We can move buildings. We can crush buildings. We can break bridges. We can move water. We could just bring the water above where it's at and bring it to land. Flood the whole city. Wouldn't that be crazy? Teleportation. If you could teleport, what would you teleport to if you didn't have a teleporter? Teleport to school ASAP fast. This is the science fiction commentary. I hope you guys like it. Think about a little bit of that stuff. This is the Halo Reach gameplay. I'm Mr. Obnoxious, and I'm out. Think about it. Leave a comment. Like the video. Peace.